Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is the needle fly. This is part of my A to Z tying series representing the letter N. This is out of my Norwegian book. Been a lot of fun working my way through the alphabet. This is tied on a size 12. This is a fire hole 609 hook. These are hashtag stupid sharp. For a tying thread, I'm using a 70 denier dark brown UTC thread. Body material consists of a dark brown mink dubbing. The front head consists of a black mink dubbing. And the wing is a tip of a black hackle feather. It's easy as that, one, two, three materials. Let's go ahead and remove our sample. And we can secure our blank hook in our vise. And like all good flies, this will begin but with a single wrap of thread, but we're gonna leave a long tag end because we're going to be using that as a ribbing. So we'll start our thread up front Continue it down the shank of the hook towards the bend. Once there, we can add a little bit of wax to our thread where we will get our dub on. Starting with a little bit of the dark brown mink and like all dubbing applications, less is more. We'll form a nice little tight dubbing noodle. Just keep twisting that on until it's nice and tight. You can always go back and add more, but to get your dubbing to lay properly, Need to keep it keep it sparse at first. All right, we'll start at the rear and work our way towards the front. And I'm doing a very slow, gradual taper. I don't want this to be a too big of a body. This is called the needle fly. And it looks like I got myself just the right length out there. <clears throat> Stopping at that one third, two third point. I'm going to take that tag end of my thread and I'm just going to do a quick counter wrap ribbing application. Once I get to my tying thread, I can secure this down with a few wraps. And now I can finally trim off my tag end. All right, I'm going to come through with a brush before I continue too far building this fly. And I am just going to, with a stiff brush, a toothbrush would work. But I'm just going to tease out some of that dubbing out of that ribbing. I like throwing that ribbing in there. I believe it adds just a little bit more longevity, a little more secure. There we go. Beautiful. All right, next we will take our hackle feather. We're aiming for just the tip. We want this to be about the length of the hook from where it's tied in. So pinch it down. We'll take one soft wrap, a second soft wrap, and a third, adding a little bit of tension. We'll shorten our feather down to the appropriate length just by giving it a smooth tug. Once we're satisfied with the length of that wing, we can secure it all the way down. Some tight locking wraps. And let's go ahead and trim that excess off. Now we still have plenty of a good hackle feather here. I'm just gonna set this off into my scraps pile and save that for another fly. 
Next, we're going to take our black dubbing for our head. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of wax. Help it stick. And once again, with the dubbing, less is more. Don't have to put too much on there. Just make yourself a nice tight dubbing noodle. Let's go ahead and secure this to the hook. We're just going for a small head up front. I like it. And before I come in and do my whip finish, I'm going to take a black Pro Marker and turn this dark brown thread into a black. All right, we come in, give it the old one, two, three whip finish. One, two, three turns. And let's go ahead and secure that down. And trim off our tying thread. All right, that is it. That is N is for needle fly. This is on a size 12. Be sure to check out that A to Z fly tying series, both in the step-by-step -step and fast-forward playlist. Thank you for watching. Happy tying. And with this one, tight lines.